You guys have heard the story of a monster that attacked a villager, and then he disappeared forever. What a story from some camps. Do you want to scare the kids? JJ, let's do something serious. But I'm telling you that it happened in our village, literally a couple of years before we came here. What is this strange feeling that someone is watching me? Who is it here? I definitely heard someone pass by me just now. Maybe I shouldn't have watched that chorus movie. I'm definitely not going to get home normally now. What a strange village this is. Almost everything is destroyed and there is no one here. Is this village abandoned? I don't see anyone. Hmm? And what is this passage? And no one has seen him since. They say that whoever was following him caught him in that place and ate him. And sometimes at night you can meet that guy. Uh, okay, JJ. I think the story wasn't very good. And we don't want you to tell things like that anymore. And Frack and I had better go home and rest. JJ, I think he was definitely scared of this story and wanted to go home as soon as possible so as not to pee his pants. Let's go home and play something too. If that's what you think, then it's probably true. Well, all right. If they don't want to believe, then don't let them believe. It won't make us feel any worse, but we can't say that we had a bad time around the campfire. Still, it was nice to sit and talk about something. You're right. Do you want to watch some movie with me? Are you going to bed? Yes, I'm tired today, and I just want to lie down on the bed and sleep. Have a good movie viewing, and don't fall asleep there as usual. Mm. Hmm? Hasn't he gone to bed yet? I told him not to fall asleep at the TV again. What an idiot. Hmm? Was it my imagination, or did I hear someone's footsteps? Huh? Hmm? I don't like it, and it's better if I'm ready to fight. My gun is lying here idle. Whoever it is, you better get out of my house. I might accidentally shoot you. I think it's definitely not Mikey, because I can hear him snoring here and I won't confuse him with anything. But then whose steps were they? Or who was knocking on the windows? Mikey, if this is your prank, then you won't come into the house anymore. I'm sure I heard it 100% and now someone's footsteps. It's like they're coming here. <laughs> What was that just now? What kind of monster was that? What's going on here? I definitely saw this monster and it was very big and scary. I can't believe it now. I think I just need to sleep. Mikey, you need to go to bed too. What an idiot you are if you couldn't get to bed by yourself. Hmm? Something very strange is happening here and I can't even explain what it is. I hope Mikey doesn't wake up from this. Hmm? But it's all very, very creepy. As if someone is deliberately trying to scare me. But apparently he doesn't have the guts to attack me. What a coward! And here's your bed, Mikey. Remember this place and lie down only here. Whew, I'm tired too. And it's time for me to go to bed as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Mikey, stay here and don't move. I need to check something because I just saw something near the door. I don't think it was a man. I should have pretended that I was going to bed so that he wouldn't suspect me. Where did you hide? Why do you want to run away from me so badly? Don't be afraid of me. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm a good guy. But if you keep hiding from me like that, then I might get mad at you. You know that my patience is not endless. If you want to kill me or someone else, you better do it while I'm not looking at you. But where did you go? What kind of stupid childish games are these? Who was that knocking on the door? Come on, stay there and don't go anywhere. This is some kind of mockery again. What is it here? Hmm, it seems to be no one. But what kind of body is this? Oh no! Frank! What happened to you? Who did this? I can't believe it! Precisely! I have cameras at home. If I look at the recordings, I can see who did it and then I can make sure that it was some kind of monster. And that it's not all a dream. Great! But computer? Show me the camera footage from the last two hours. Mm-hmm. Huh? What is this? This is exactly the monster I saw in front of my eyes. Does that mean he killed Frank? What a horror. I can't believe it right now. So this is a recording of where I took Mikey to bed. But I can't see anything from here and it seems to me that I just imagined or imagined it. But this is all my hope, of course, because I saw this monster near the doorway. <laughs> so that's why I felt that look on me. And this monster was so brazen. They're standing in the aisle, looking at me and Mikey. But why did you need it? What did you want to do all this time? I can't understand you at all. You knew that I knew that you were here and I had a gun. It was easier for you to attack me and take Mikey away. Hmm? Precisely. Have you been trying to distract me from everything all this time to get Mikey? 
Oh no! Then I'm just an idiot for leaving our room. Mikey! If you can hear me, then answer me. Aren't you at home? Oh no, he was already here. What a horror! What an idiot. I shouldn't have strayed too far from Mikey. Why did I do that? Now this monster has taken him away and has most likely already killed or eaten him. No! I'm to blame for all this. What should I do now? Where should I look for him? Or how do I find him at all? I hope that I will find him on these tracks. If only I could find him. Where is he? Hmm? What is that? This monster has attacked our village. Oh no! Somebody help me! Save me from this monster! What should I do now? This monster will soon destroy the whole village and then get to me too. There must be a way to stop or kill him. But I don't like the fact that this monster doesn't look like the one I saw on the cameras. There's definitely something wrong here. I just need to figure out a way to kill this monster. And so I got home and I'm still alive. It can definitely be called a miracle. No other way. Great. I think I need to figure out a way to kill this monster. I think I'll start making transformation potions, and then I'll kill this monster in his own way. It's good that I have a book about this. There should be all the necessary ingredients for this potion in my basement. It's not for nothing that I collected all these things in my free time. And so now to the recipe. I need one piece of this, one gram of the plant, then I need to grind it all in a blender. Hey, hey! I thought this potion might not work, but now I feel incredibly strong. I don't even know why this monster hasn't killed everyone in our village yet, because doing it with his powers should have been the easiest thing in the world. Hey, you monster! Can you hear me? Do you want to ignore me? You can't do it because now I'm madder than ever! And I have only one goal! This is to stop you and bring my friend Mikey back to me! And you're the one who's going to tell me where he is and what happened to him. Yes, I still have a lot of questions. But don't worry, you will answer all my questions when I knock you out. What are you doing? Are you really trying to run away from me? Do you think you can do it? How wrong you are! I can only tell you one thing. The more you try to run away from me, the more I will make you suffer. And not just because you're an ordinary coward. Stop running away! Stay where you are! You can't run away from me anyway. Either you fight me in a fair fight, or you'll get punches all over your body from me. I see that you no longer have the strength. Finally, give up! Hmm? What is this? Something is wrong. Hmm? Mikey? Were you that monster? What's going on here? Wake up now. How did you become this monster? Are you alright? It's me, JJ. Don't be afraid. JJ? Did you stop me? I already thought that the whole village would be destroyed because of me! I'm so glad you didn't give up! I don't want to die. I haven't done anything wrong. If anyone hears me, then please save me as soon as possible. This worm wants to take me into the water and eat me. JJ? How did you sleep today? It seemed to me that it was somehow too quiet outside at night, and at that moment I heard a very scary sound. It was like someone was screaming. I think it was just some guys playing outside and scaring each other. Better let's harvest this crop as soon as possible and go sell it at the market tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, JJ and Mikey. Have you seen this before? There's a guy dead on the shore. Come quickly after me and see it all with your own eyes. What a nightmare. It seems that these are traces of blood. I don't think it's very good. I think that this scream at night was from this guy. JJ, then it's terrible. Look at him! It was obviously not done by some person, but as if something else had done it. Maybe he fell somehow unsuccessfully, but it still looks just disgusting! I think we shouldn't think about it because there are people who do this. Let's go to the police station and let them know before it's too late. Uh -huh. Hello, Officer Adam! We've come to report a murder. There's a guy dead by the sea. We don't even know the cause of death. I think he will definitely be able to pack it all. I hope he can. Guys, thank you for reporting this. Now go home before it gets dark. Good officer, whatever you say, JJ, I'm sure he can find out who did this. Let's go home for now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I just wanted to watch a TV series. Yep. So this is this bridge? How creepy it is here and it smells terrible. I thought it was someone who died. 
Oh, that's right, that dude is dead. And where are the footprints here? I think I need to find fingerprints. Hmm? What is that? Where did this come from here? Where did you get a huge worm here? Someone save me! There's a huge worm attacking me! Oh no, please don't kill me. I didn't do anything wrong. I just wanted to find out who killed this guy because that's my job. Then why are you pretending that you don't understand me? Hello everyone, my name is Alice and I am your favourite director. He wants to announce today that the corpses of a guy named John and our officer Adam were found on the bridge of our village. We still can't figure out how to pronounce it, but one thing is for sure that this is a very dangerous man because to kill Officer Adam is to be very strong. Eyewitnesses heard two nights in a row how they shouted into the street in the same place, so it was probably done by the same person. But the question still remains, who did it? After all, you need to be a very strong and intelligent person in order to do this. I want to warn you not to go out at night. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. <sighs> JJ, let's go plant a couple of plants! Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's just terrible. Have you watched the news on TV yet? Don't tell me you haven't seen it, because it's just terrible. I told you yesterday that a guy's body was found on the bridge. You won't believe me, but Officer Adam was found in the same place. He was killed last night too. What? Oh. JJ, this is terrible. What should we do now? I thought Officer Adam would be able to find the killer. But it turned out that this killer was more cunning. What are we going to do now? I do not know, but we need to take matters into our own hands and find this killer ourselves. Did you say you want to find the killer? Then follow me. I'll just show you someone who can help you. His shop sells interesting potions. I think it will be useful for you. This is his store. Good. Thank you, man. But what does it say here? Become a bridge worm? It sounds strange. I thought there would be guns here. I've been thinking about it too. But let's at least go inside and try to buy it. Hi guys, do you want to become a bridge worm? Then you'll have to pay me 64 bucks to get the potions. I can wait until you come with the money. Oh! We don't have enough money to buy these potions. What should we do now? We need to come up with something urgently. Mm-hmm. JJ, I've come up with something. You will definitely like it. Take this and follow me. Don't we want to buy potions to become bridge worms? Because we want to kill a murderer. The same worm. Therefore, you need to earn a lot of money. I don't quite understand what you mean by that. Can you be more specific? Don't say that. Because you understand everything. We need to withdraw money from this bank. I'm sure they won't have a choice when they see that we have guns in our hands. All right. Everybody put your hands up. We've come to collect the money. Don't even think that we won't take it away. If you think like that, then this will end well for you. Mikey, keep him at gunpoint for now, and I'll take the money from the safe. You heard what my friend said, didn't you? Then stand still. If I were you, I would thank us because we want to save this village from you. JJ, did you take everything you could? Yes, Mikey, we can get out of here. Thanks for the money. We're not coming back anymore. Mikey, if I had known that we could make money so quickly and easily, then I would have done it even earlier. Well, now that we have everything we need, let's go to that store and buy these potions from him. I can't wait for the moment when we become bridge worms and kill this monster who did this to Officer Adam and that dude. I'm sure this monster is probably sitting somewhere and enjoying it. That's right. Push faster. Hi, man. We brought you the money. Sell us these potions. Guys, I did not think that you would bring so much money. Thank you very much. I am so glad that you bought these potions from me. I wish you good luck in killing this monster. And now we have to go to this bridge and use these potions there? Because I would not want to become a worm in this place in the center of the village? We can be accidentally killed by people who will be here, or even worse, we can scare them. JJ, it's just a shock. We've really become bridge worms. I can't believe it. Now we can go and kill this monster? Then let's go right now. We need to find traces of this monster first. I think his lair must be here somewhere. If we find the lair, we will immediately find this monster. I don't think it will take us much time. This river is not that big. Then let's start the search right now. All right. Mikey, I think I can hear this monster. Let's sail in that direction. 
You'll see a chasm down there. Let's go there, and there will be this monster. Let's go kill him. And here he is. How disgusting he is. I thought this monster would be hiding here because he was probably afraid of us. After all, we would have killed him for what he did. Hey, you. You understand us, don't you? Then I'll tell you right now. You're going to die soon. He's as simple as if he doesn't even want to fight us. What a pathetic and weak monster you are. Hey, everyone in the village thinks that you are very strong because you were able to kill Officer Adam. But I think I figured out how you did it. I'm so sorry that this battle is going to be so boring. Although I expected something worse from you. Look at him. It seems he wants to fight back. Or is he just trying to escape from here? I don't see any attempts to dump or fight us normally. How strange you are. JJ, let's finish this monster off soon. I'm already sick of the smell of him. I think he won't be able to run anywhere else, not because we're beating him so hard here that he's about to die. And he also protects these treasures. These treasures will look very expensive. I think it will be a great payment for everything he has done. Treasures! This already sounds very JJ, interesting. Thank you for reminding me of this. I was just thinking that it would be time for me to get outside because I have been busy studying this book for several days. I'm so interested in what I can do with this book. I understood you well. Then I'll see you again. Good luck with that. Thanks, JJ. Don't worry about me. All right. That's just hard not to worry about the person who enters the house through the window instead of the door. All right. I think it's all because of this book. I need to find a way. What a good day to create another monster that can destroy an entire village. <laughs> Hello, fish. I'm sure you're ready for this experiment. After all, after that, you will become the most dangerous predator that has ever existed. These potions should definitely work. I can guarantee it, because some of the witches I met helped me do this. <laughs> and I, now I need to cast a spell. February Fekshu per Cespsterok. Hmm? How did I get a fish show on TV? Hmm. I think I have an idea how I need to get Mikey out of the house. I'm sure he hasn't done it yet, because before that we didn't live near the sea. And now we just have to fish. Mikey, finish it for today, because you and I are going fishing. I'm sure you've never caught a fish. That's why you and I are going to this sea and start fishing. How do you like this idea? Fishing? Mm, it will be very interesting. I definitely didn't do that. Then let's go quickly. Only one problem is that I don't know how to fish, and I don't even know how to use a fishing rod. Can you teach me? I've only seen it done on TV, but I couldn't remember it. It's very simple, Mikey. I can teach you if you just watch me do it. That's why you don't have to worry. In this place, I think it will be an ideal point for fishing. What do you think? I think so. There are just so many fish swimming here. Are you sure we can catch something today? Hmm? JJ! And what is that big thing floating in our direction? It seems that you just imagined it. Because I don't see anything strange. Hmm? Although, wait. What is it? JJ, this is some kind of too big fish. I don't think that's what we'd like to catch and take home as a trophy today. What kind of fish is this? I've never heard of them. I also don't know where this fish came from. But it's definitely not something we can keep at home. Let's run home soon before this fish catches us and eats us. What a huge fish. I just can't believe it. Where did this fish even come from here? JJ, let's not think about it now, because I don't want to hear anything about these fish right now. I want to go home and get some sleep as soon as possible. It's just a terrible day. I can't believe it. Stupid fish. Because of you, I couldn't please Mikey. The whole day has gone down the drain because of you. The pro sod is incredible. Some big and dumb fish wanted to eat us. I definitely need to go home and forget this like a bad dream. See you tomorrow, JJ. Let's not talk about this day. Whatever you say, but I am sure that this fish cannot exist. Someone specially created this fish. Hello, everyone. My name is Alice, and I want to pass on the news of our village, because a huge fish has just been spotted that appeared out of nowhere. We cannot give an exact answer where this fish came from in our part. But next to me is a scientist who studies fish and can share his opinion. Brian, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian, and I can say for sure that such predatory fish should be 10 times smaller than this one. And I can't explain why this fish has become so huge either. I need to examine his body in order to give an accurate answer. So for now, I can only say that this fish is very dangerous. 
You've put everything together. We recommend that you give up swimming in the sea. Hmm? Brian, let's run. He wants to eat us. Ah! We urgently ask you all to move away from the shoreline because it can be very dangerous. You've seen on TV what he can do. Therefore, please step back immediately. I won't say it twice, but it's very dangerous. Guys, stand here and try to destroy this monster before he does something very bad. Guys, you don't have to be afraid of ordinary citizens looking at you. We just have to finish this monster off before it floats away somewhere or before it causes us huge damage. Shoot him with everything you have. Don't spare the bullets and don't even think about feeling sorry for this monster. He's already killed a couple of people. Did you hear the order from our boss? Start firing on this monster immediately. He's a direct threat to our entire village. Fire from all weapons. The tank squad doesn't take a step back. Great job. It seems that he has already realized that it is not worth coming to us. Mm hmm? Where are these sounds coming from? Very strange. Hmm? What are they doing there? What could possibly be going on there at night? JJ, do you hear those sounds too? I can't understand. Did they decide to make a movie about tanks and helicopters at night? This is just some kind of mockery. Let's go to them soon and figure out what's going on there. Hey guys, what's wrong with your faces? Are you making a movie here or something? We can't sleep because of this. Can't you do it in the morning or another day? JJ, it doesn't seem like a movie at all. Look at the helicopters. They're probably real. And these tanks are also not fake. I think they're all here for one simple reason. It's that they want to kill that water monster that attacked us this morning. Look! Whoa! I can't believe they were able to find this monster after all and decided to finish him off. It's just wonderful. But I don't think they will succeed. This monster is just mocking them. Is there a way to kill this monster quickly? JJ, of course there is. You know what a fish that hunts other fish is afraid of? Think carefully. I don't think you even understood. But this is a fish that is even bigger and even stronger than that. That's why I want to tell you that I made some potions so that we could become a fish that would be twice as big as this one, and then we could kill it. If it's true, then I can help you make this potion. I see that you are working very hard here. Yes? Just fine. Then when can we use this potion? Yes. At least right now I have everything ready. Therefore, we need to go to the sea right now and use these potions there. After you throw these potions at yourself, you should become a fish within a minute. Are you ready for this? Of course I am always ready for this. Just tell me and I'll go and kill this fish with my own hands right now. We don't have to do that. Use the potions now and jump into the water. You're going to love it. How do you like it? The feeling that you are a big and strong fish? I just can't believe it really worked. Mikey, you're just a genius. I don't even know how you could have thought of that at all. Well, now let's catch this stupid fish that ruined our day and who tried to kill our neighbors in this village. We won't be able to forgive you for what you did. That's why we're going to kill you in this sea today. JJ, swim right behind that fish. We won't let him sail away from here. Do you hear, you stupid and big fish? If you can hear me, then remember that this is your last day in this sea. Tell me who created you and why did you want to kill us? Don't you want to talk? Then get ready for what you can do. Just believe it. I know you want to survive, but you won't be able to do it. Come here, I will kill you and then become a man and eat. I'm sure you'll be a very tasty fish. JJ, swim after him. Here we are finally on this planet. I could not have thought that it would be so easy. We need to send a signal here so that our friends can also fly to planet Earth. Then let's explore this area a bit while they're flying here. We need to get some materials. What is it? Are these people? Hello, Earthlings. We came here in peace. We won't hurt you. Who are you? What are you doing here? Get down on the floor quickly before we kill you. Guys, attack them and knock them out. We need to study these huge robots. Take them to the laboratory to our professor. I think he will be happy about it. Yes, sir. Pretty good specimens. I think if we can study them enough, then our army will become the strongest in the whole world. Then we need to start right now. Did you all hear that? 
You need to ensure the protection of these instances. We need to start doing this right now before anyone starts it before us. Let's start with his legs. Get out the tool. Good morning, Mikey. Phew, I had such a strange dream, as if our planet was attacked by aliens. It's good that it was a dream. JJ, what is this brain in a test tube? Didn't you think it was kind of weird? Has this thing always been here? I don't know, but for some reason it seems to me that it has always been... Hmm, who is it? JJ, it's Adam. You're kind of weird today, even though Adam looks a little older. Besides, where did he get those cool things on his eye? And why is his arm mechanical? Guys, follow me. I'm not the Adam you remember. I came from the future for you to save this village. Follow me. The fate of humanity depends on you. You need to follow me to a laboratory nearby. Okay, Mikey is definitely not our Adam. Where did he get these two cool cars? Something tells me that he's telling the truth. Otherwise, where did he get all this? It seems that this is the laboratory he was talking about. It looks plausible. That's right. It scares me a little. But let's not say anything to him and do everything he says. Mm-hmm. All right. This is the laboratory that I told you about. Your scientists were able to find and catch two Optimus Primes and wanted to study them in order to build an army in order to protect our village. So they brought them here. But a very bad case happened. You need to figure it out because I also don't know what's here. It could have happened. We need to find the recordings from the cameras. Okay, are there cameras here? Hmm? I see that there are three cameras here, but how do we read the recordings? We don't have anything for that. It's easier than you think. I have a tablet that can read the recordings, view them, and tell me what you see. Wow, I see two Optimus Primes, it's all true, but what can go wrong here? Hmm? Some guy ran in here with a knife. He has no chance against them. They have guns. Hmm? What? How is this so? How could he kill two guards so easily? It's just impossible. Now he has to kill two scientists, and it won't be a problem for him. What a horror. They're talking about something, but I don't understand what they could be talking about at this time. Some kind of strange dialogue between them, and he killed him, and now he's going to Optimus Prime. He threw some potions at them and it seems they have become somehow strange. The feeling that he has captured their minds because they listen to him and follow him. I see. Then everything became clear to me. Thank you for your help. Mm-hmm. Do you want to become a Demon Optimus Prime to defeat these guys? What? The Demon Optimus Prime? It just sounds incredibly good. Then of course we want to go where? Everything is much easier than you think. Follow me, I'll show you a workshop that can do it. But I can't help you further, so you need to do everything with your own hands to become Demon Optimus Primes. I want to say that after you become them, you can find the base of that guy and kill all these villains. What? Who wants to become a Demon Optimus Prime? Hi guys, is that you? Then I'll get to the point. You need to give me $64. Okay, we get you, but we don't have that kind of money. Mikey, we need to find a way to earn this money. Do you have any ideas? I see that there is. Where are we going now? Tell me something. Of course we go to the bank. We need to withdraw our money from the account and that's it. Hi, man. We're here. Hmm? Forgive me, but we have money problems in the bank and there is nothing even in the safes upstairs. I hope you can forgive me. How can we forgive an idiot like you and this bank? That's the horror. Now we need to come up with another way. But I have an idea. I saw a mine nearby here. This is not the mine we are used to. We need to find the key to the chest there. And maybe there will be money there. So this is an ideal option for us. Well, I hope this method will work, because other than that, I do not know what else we could do, but I do not like digging sand and looking for a key. It's so uninteresting. JJ, don't worry. I found the key. So take it and open the chest. See what's in there. There was another key lying here. So I think we did it all in vain. Although, wait, I think I saw a mine nearby that is locked, and we could try to open that mine with this key. JJ, there's a real lock hanging here. Try to open it. I have a pickaxe, so we won't have any problems Sheesh. with the tool. Sheesh! There are so many diamonds here. I can't believe my eyes. Now we just have to dig it all up here. Mm -hmm. That's how easily we were able to earn so many diamonds. We only needed two hours. Now we can become Demon Optimus Primes. Hi, man. We brought you money so that you could turn us into an Optimus Prime Demon. It's good that you came again. Then it will be very easy. Stand here and I will throw these potions at you. And when you wake up, you will already be the Demon Optimus Prime. Sheesh! Whoa! JJ, we were able to do it! How cool it turns out to be!
And it also seems to me that our voices have changed, yes? Now we need to find their base and destroy all the Optimus Prime demons that attacked our village. That's right. We have everything for this. Then let's go right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and here is their base. I have a plan how to defeat them, finish them, and apply them to me. Then we can knock him out with my laser. This laser was created specifically against Optimus Primes. We will be able to disableize them. Hey, you idiots! You don't think it will be so easy to take over our land, do you? You are very wrong. If you want to prove the opposite, then kill me if you can. Great job, Maki. And now you're the demon Optimus Prime. It's time for you to take a break from all this. You didn't think we'd feel sorry for you, did you? <laughs>